हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर नरेश कुमार एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनोटिकल इंजीनियरिंग डुंडीगल हैदराबाद टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ग्रीन थ्योरम हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई ग्रीन थ्योरम इन आवर प्रॉब्लम इन द प्लेन so basically in green theorem we discuss about a relation between line integral which is equal to area integral so i want to tell you how we can how we can a line integral how we can see the line integral equal to area integral how it is possible one side is line integral other side is area integral but how it is possible that line integral is equal to area integral so this concept is given by the green theorem green is the name of mathematician uh, who give the concept of line integral equal to area integral and uh, this formula is very useful to solve the problem so basic concept of green theorem in the plane plane is given in this problem 100% plane is given and relation between line and surface integral so first point is definition of concept of green theorem in the plane what is green theorem in the plane definition of green theorem in the plane i want to discuss and define what is green theorem in the plane so if s is an open surface any surface s s is any surface which is open bounded by a closed curve c and f equal to mi plus nj this is two dimensional vector point function f f is vector point function that is represented by force vector point function this is the force in vector form a any vector point function in two dimension having continuous first order partial derivative then this is the condition must if s is any open surface which is bounded by closed curve c and a vector point function f that is represented by force f equal to mi i is cap n plus n j j is cap m i plus n j this is two dimensional vector point function that is represented by a force is any vector point function having continuous first order partial derivative then we have the f is two dimensional vector point function in any x y plane f is vector point function two dimensional vector point function in any x y plane so i want to discuss here this is z axis this is x axis and this is y axis okay this is i k j j k cap this is j cap and this is i cap clear so this is the x y plane this is known as a x y plane now this plane is given and this is a surface plane is always be a surface of any body so now what is perpendicular to this so i am discuss here a result which is perpendicular to this this is this perpendicular this type this is perpendicular to z so a, a vector which is perpendicular to the z to xy plane that is known as a unit normal vector this is n n n cap unit normal vector is n cap and this is k cap so n cap equal to k cap in this result we can find n cap equal to k cap because 
n is a unit normal vector which is perpendicular to x y plane what z z plane z axis is the perpendicular to x y plane and unit normal is also perpendicular to the to the x y plane so n vector and k vector both are parallel here n vector and k vector both are parallel okay so this is parallel so we can say that n vector equal to k vector this is the main property in this theorem in stock theorem n vector is not parallel to k vector the direction of n is different so the n vector n unit vector is equal to cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k in stock theorem we have consider the value of n vector is equal to cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k in stock theorem what in green theorem the main concept is n unit normal vector is parallel to k vector means the direction of unit normal vector along the z axis so we can say that n unit vector is equal to k vector so n equal to k we can write so now here this is any line integral single integral under curve c any closed curve and curve if we integrate along any curve curve that is known as a line integral so this is curve c integral under curve c this is f vector point function two dimensional and this is dr vector dr vector this is the differentiation of position vector at any point p this is the differential dr dr vector is the differentiation of any position vector at point p or f is the two dimensional vector point function so this equal to double integration under surface curl f dot n ds this is the formula for green theorem so now in stoke theorem we have already discussed about stoke theorem but there is some difference between stoke and green when we are studying of green theorem then parallel we study of stoke theorem okay so stoke theorem f is three dimensional vector point function f is three dimensional vector point function f vector is this is f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k in stoke theorem and here n cap this equal to cos alpha i plus cos beta j and plus cos gamma k this is the n vector in stoke theorem but in green theorem f vector is two dimensional vector point function so f is here f vector is value of f vector this equal to m i cap plus n j cap so n vector is equal to k vector these two points are different this is the green theorem and this is the stock theorem stock theorem is three dimensional and green theorem is two dimensional so now integration ever formula is given in vector form n is unit normal vector perpendicular to given the surface basically xy plane now change the ever formula in vector to scalar form how we can change the green green theorem formula which is given in vector form convert in scalar form so this is formula 1 this is known as a scale vector form formula so this is integral under curve c f vector dot dr vector equal to double integration as curl f dot n ds but this formula is two dimensional formula under the surface s so now convert equation 1 in vector form to scalar form how we can convert to vector to scalar so here f is any vector point function this is given m m into i cap plus n into j cap there is only two dimensional i and j vector are there there is no k vector this equation 
and 3 is n cap equal to k cap. This is most important point. Equation 3 is most important point. n vector unit normal vector is equal to k unit normal vector. Both are same because the direction of unit normal vector along the z axis. But along the z axis, k vector lie. K vector is working along the z axis and the unit normal vector n in the direction of j, k. So both are parallel. It means n vector equal to k vector. This is the main concept of Green theorem. There are two points are main in Green theorem. First is vector point function is two dimensional vector. An unit normal vector n equal to unit normal vector k. This is this result is given in stock theorem. So now, first of all, here r r vector is position vector. R vector is for number one point is most important point of green theorem. Most important points of green theorem number one f vector. This is two dimensional vector m i plus n j. Okay. Second result is n vector equal to k vector because n vector parallel to k vector. n unit normal vector parallel to k vector. So we can say n vector equal to k, k vector. n vector equal to k vector. Okay. And f is two dimensional vector point function in the given surface that is m i plus n j. These point, two points are very important points in green theorem. So now R vector is the position vector of a point P on the surface. So that is represented by Xi plus Yj plus Zk. This is equation 4. Now differentiation of R vector, we get dr, dr vector. dr vector is dxi plus dyj plus dzk. 1 dx is dxi plus dyj plus dzk. So now finding curl f. What is curl f? Curl f represented by del cross f vector. Del cross f. So del cross f determine with the help of determinant. Determinant first of all writing i cap, j cap and k cap. In first row, in second row, we know del. Del is i dou over dou x plus j dou over dou y plus k dou over dou z. This is the value of del. So now coefficient of i is dou over dou x. Coefficient of j is dou over dou y. Coefficient of k is dou over dou z. So putting here Second row, do over do x, do over do y, do over do z. And next, in f vector, in f vector, two dimensional vector, so coefficient of i is n, coefficient of j is n, and coefficient of k is 0. So when we find the curl f, then that is known as a del cross f, del is a vector, and f is a vector. Both are vector. Both are three dimensional vector i, j, k. So now first row we write i, j, k. i, j, k are unit vectors. And in second row, taking the coefficient of i, j, k in del, in first vector del. So in first vector del, the coefficient of i is dou over dou x, coefficient of j is dou over dou y, coefficient of k is dou over dou z. So second row, we are taking the coefficient of i, j, k in first vector respectively. Now third row, third row, we are taking the coefficient of i, j, k in second vector, f vector. So in second vector, f vector, the coefficient of i is n, coefficient of j is n, and coefficient of k is 0. 
After solving this determinate, we get this curl dot curl curl f vector. So now, first of all, I am taking i cap. This is i cap and eliminating first row and first column. Then multiply by this to this. So do over do y of zero minus do over do z of n. Next second taking j. J is negative sign minus j. And first row and second column cutting. So multiply this to this and minus this to this. Do over do x of zero minus do over do z of m. And last be taking here k. This is third one is k. And k first row cancel and third column cancel. Now multiply by this and to this. So do over do x of n minus do over do by of m. So now next curl f equal to here. First this result is zero. Do over do y of zero is zero. So now minus do n over do z i and do over do x of zero. This is zero. So minus minus plus do m over do f. This is plus do m over of do z j and plus k is this. Also c is closed curve in x y plane. Then we write n vector equal to k vector. N vector perpendicular to x y plane. So the direction of n vector along the k vector. So n vector and k vector both are parallel. So n vector equal to k k vector. We can write this. So now we will find here curl f dot n. Curl f dot n. So what is curl f? Curl f minus do n over do z i plus do m over do z j plus k. Do n over do x minus do n over do y dot n. Putting n n equal to k. Taking here. So now curl f dot n minus do n over do z i and minus do m over do z j and plus this is plus sign and do z k do n over do x minus do this k. So this is k vector here i zero and j zero. So multiply to k dot k k vector dot i vector. This is zero. K vector dot j vector. This is zero. Only write k vector dot k vector. This is one. So here multiply this one. This so we write this. Curl f dot n equal to do n over do x minus do m over do y. This equation seven. We find f dot dr f vector and dr vector. F vector is m i plus n j. Two dimensional vector is vector f. F is vector point function. And dr vector, dr vector is the differential differentiation of position vector r. So we write here d x i cap plus d y j cap plus d z k cap. Now taking dot product on both sides. So taking dot between i to i, j to j, and k to k. But in first vector there is no k k. So here we write f dot dr equal to m dx plus n dy. These value putting in equation one. So this this is formula is in vector form. Now integral c here m dx n dy equal to surface curl f dot n or k f curl f dot k this ds. Okay. So this is the main formula. Putting this value, this so now m dx plus n dy curl f dot k ds. Final is this. This formula is known as a green formula. This is known as a green theorem. This is representing in the line integral equal to area integral. This is line integral and this is area integral. Okay. This is the main formula of green theorem. So finally. Finally, we see that we see that in Green theorem, in Green theorem, only two points. Remember, number one, f is f vector. 
this is two dimensional vector point function that is m i n plus n j two dimensional only third is no and next is n unit normal vector this is k here n vector parallel to k vector okay these two points are very important for green theorem and we are taking three dimensional n is also three dimensional vector and f is the also three dimensional vector then this formula convert into stock theorem okay this is the main difference between green theorem and stock theorem stock theorem is three dimensional vector point function all vectors is three dimensional and uh, in green theorem vector is two dimensional and n vector parallel to k vector now we want to solve one problem based on green theorem how we can use the green theorem in our problem so i want to discuss here in detail why the use green's theorem so that area bounded by a simple cross curve c is given by this why the use of green theorem so that the area bounded by closed curve is given by this hence find the area of an ellipse area of an ellipse so solution why green's theorem in the plane we have the formula formula we have the following formula okay why green's theorem in the planes to solve this problem we use a green theorem with the help of green theorem we solve this problem so solution why green's theorem in the plane we have this following formula this is represented by equation 1 this is line integral and this is right hand side is area integral so the formula this is known as a cartesian form this equation is known as a cartesian cartesian form so left hand side integration c this is integral under any curve m dx plus n dy two dimensional curve and this double integration r r is any region do n over do x minus do m over do y dx dy but now we have given this integral we want to find the value of this integral so this integral is line integral because this is single integral we have given integral that is line integral what in our formula is line integral this so comparing this here this is line integral and this is formula this is given in our question this is given in our formula both are putting same equal then after comparing we get this here what is m what is value of m okay we are not taking half only this result half is not taking there so here x dy minus y dx after comparing here m m is the coefficient of dx so coefficient of dx is this so m is minus y coefficient of dy coefficient of dy is this coefficient of dy is x so here m is minus y and n is x so now differentiating m with respect to y do m over do y this is minus 1 differentiating n with respect to x do n over do x equal to 1 hence we one we have why the formula one we have integration c minus y dx plus x dy equal to double integration r do n over do x putting this value in formula putting value from 3 in formula 1 formula 1 formula 1 is this equation 2 then we have this by dx plus x dy equal to double integration do x over do x minus do over do y of minus y dx dy 4 so double integration are this one plus this one dx dy so this two dx dy this is 2a here let 
लेट ए इक्वल टू डबल इंटीग्रेशन आर एंड डी एक्स डी वाई सो दिस इज टू ए नाउ ए इज द रिक्वायर्ड एरिया ऑफ एन एलिप्स एनी पॉइंट ऑन एक्स वाई ऑन द एलिप्स इज गिवन वाई एक्स इक्वल टू ए कॉस फाइव एंड वाई इक्वल टू बी साइन फाइव वेयर फाइव इज पैरामीटर दिस इज पैरामीट्रिक फॉर्म ऑफ एन एलिप्स बिकॉज एलिप्स इक्वेशन ऑफ एलिप्स एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन बी कंसिडर हेयर एक्स इक्वल टू ए कॉस फाइव एंड वाई इक्वल टू बी साइन फाइव दीज इक्वेशन वेरी फाइव टू वन सो हेयर ए स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर फाइव अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर फाइव अपॉन बी स्क्वायर दिस कैंसिल so this is one so these are the parametric form of an ellipse we can put in any ellipse this point so now here now here taking one upon two this is one upon two now writing one upon two minus y in bracket minus y is this y is b sin phi and d y v sin phi y is minus y minus y is b sin phi differentiation of dx we are putting this value minus b sin phi and d of x x is a cos phi and plus x x is a cos phi dy dy means differential of y y is b sin phi so now a cos phi differential of b sin phi b sin phi means b cos phi d phi Minus b sine phi differential of cos phi means minus a sine phi d phi. So minus minus plus. So this is one upon two. Now this equal to one upon two. A b is common cos square phi plus sine square phi d phi. And here sine square phi plus cos square phi is one. So here one upon two a b zero to two pi d phi. In ellipse the phi goes from zero to 360 degree in any ellipse ellipse is this and this is origin this x axis this y axis this is origin and this is any point p p x y this is very phi to equation of ellipse this is op this is angle phi so phi here phi is minimum 0 and phi maximum is 2 pi so one circle complete this complete one cycle okay so this angle this anti clock direction so theta phi equal to minimum 0 and phi equal to maximum 2 pi this is the limit of phi covered to this region area area of an ellipse so this equal to 1 upon 2 ab phi putting the value of phi your limit 2 pi minus 0 so this is 1 upon 2 Into two pi, so this equal to one upon two ab and into two pi. Two two is cancelled to this so pi ab. Pi ab is the area of an ellipse. Okay. Now problem two based on Green theorem. This is also very important problem. With the help of here verify Green's theorem. First of all, we want to verify the Green theorem. With the help of this curve, this function. This curve, this is verify the Green theorem or not. So here be solution. This is very important question. Solution verify the Green theorem. This where C is the boundary of the square whose vertices are this and this. First of all, making any diagram. So diagram is this. This is x axis. And this is y axis. Okay, this is z axis. Now, this is origin. Value of origin is zero zero. And this is point A. A point. This is two comma zero. Coordinate is two comma zero. Now, next point is this. This is point B. Point B is Two comma two, and this point, this, this is C, C point. This is zero comma two. 
okay so our region bounded by this this is the region we find out the value of this region this is the region so with the help of line integral first of all this oa integral with oa we find out second this one ob third one this one bc and third is co so according to line integral we find the integral of this so here integral c x square minus x y q integral c x y minus x q and here d dx x y q and dx plus x square minus x y q x square minus x y q dx and uh, plus y square minus 2 y plus y square minus 2 y n into d y this is the line integral this equal to must be double integration region r do n over do x minus do m over do y and dx over dy clear so first of all we find out the value of left hand side so first number 1 finding value of lhs lhs this integral c here x square minus x y q and dx plus y square minus 2y and dy okay so this this is the line integral so basically a square is given so a square there are four lines first to your to a next a to b b to c and c to o so we find out the integral along four line so this is integral equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 and plus i4 okay i1 i1 is the integral integral along line oa in the given given diagram so what is along oa we see that along oa in along oa number 1 this is y equal to 0 along oa by always be zero y always be zero y zero means d by zero what is x x goes to zero to x equal to 2 this is the limit of x this is y zero and d by zero so now integral c c means oa integral along oa this is i1 i1 integral oa here putting y0 in this integral putting y0 what is y0 means y0 and dy0 so here x square dx first stage x square and dx and plus y0 first of all i am writing integral here integral here c c is here x square minus x y q dx and plus y square minus 2 y and dy this is line integral which is given in our question so now along oa this i am finding along c is oa along oa o to a so here y is zero i1 is the integral along line oa is given diagram diagram is y0 so dy0 limit limit of x 
लिमिट ऑफ एक्स इज जीरो टू एक्स इज टू एक्स इज जीरो टू एक्स इज टू सो हेयर ओ ए पुटिंग बाय इक्वल टू जीरो एंड डी बाई जीरो सो हेयर एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स एंड प्लस दिस जीरो दिस इज आई वन सो आई वन इक्वल टू ओ ए मीन्स एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो टू एक्स इक्वल टू टू एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स एंड इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस एक्स क्यूब बाई थ्री सो नाउ लिमिट जीरो टू टू सो दिस इक्वल टू टू का क्यूब बाई थ्री माइनस जीरो सो दिस इज एट बाई थ्री दिस इज आई वन ओके दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड बी फाइंड द इंटीग्रल ऑफ लाइन इंटीग्रल अलॉन्ग ओनली लाइन ओ ए नाउ नेक्स्ट आई टू आई टू इज द इंटीग्रल इंटीग्रल अलॉन्ग लाइन बी ए बी ए बी अलॉन्ग ए बी इज वट इज अलॉन्ग ए बी अलॉन्ग ए बी ए बी इज एक्स इक्वल टू टू एक्स इक्वल टू टू एंड वाई गोज टू जीरो टू टू हेयर अलॉन्ग ए बी एक्स इक्वल टू टू एंड डी एक्स इज जीरो इंटीग्रल अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस सो लिमिट ऑफ वाई लिमिट ऑफ वाई वाई इक्वल टू जीरो टू वाई इक्वल टू टू so we get here integral c x square minus x y cube dx and plus y square minus 2y and dy this is integral given in our question this is i2 so i2 is equal to integration c means ab integral along ab so x square x is zero means dx zero x zero means dx zero limit y zero to two so x dx zero dx zero first integral is vanish and value of y by square minus two y and dy putting limit y is zero to two by square minus two y and dy this is odd, odd integral so here integration this y cube by 3 minus 2y square by 2 putting limit 0 to 2 this 2 to is cancel so 2 ka cube means 2 ka cube by 3 and minus 2 ka square by square minus 0 minus 0 so 8 by 3 minus minus 4 Eight by three minus four, so this equal to eight minus twelve by three, so this equal to minus four by three. Okay, this is the value of I two. Next one I three, I three is the integral. Along line BC, what is BC? BC is this line. Here y zero, here y two, here y zero, and here y two. Along line BC, y equal to two means dy is zero, and x belong x belong two to zero. Limit of x is and limit of x is x equal to zero to x equal to two. First of all, y equal to two, dy is zero, and x limit from zero to two. When we integrating along BC, so I three equal to Integration c x square minus x y cube dx and plus y square minus two y dy. Now integration along b c 
I3. I3 is the integral along BC. So here dy is 0, means this result is 0. And y is equal to putting 2. So y equal to x square minus x and 2 ka cube and dx. So this equal to here bc limit of y is x 0 to 2. Now x square minus 8x and dx. So this is equal x cube by 3 minus 8x square y 2. Putting limit 0 to 2. So this equal to here 2 ka cube by 3 minus 8 minus 8 and into 2 ka square by 2 minus 0 minus 0. So here i2 is equal to i3 i3 is equal to here 8 by 3 minus this 2 2 is cancelled. 8 by 3 minus 16 16 8 by 3 minus 16. Okay. So this equal to 8 minus 48 by 3. So this equal to minus 40 by 3. This is value of I3. At last, integral along line CO. In diagram, in given diagram, in given diagram. So in CO, we see that CO is this. So CO is x equal to 0, x equal to 0 and y varies 2 to 0. In M, x equal to 0 and dx is 0. Limit of y is y equal to 2 to y equal to 0. Putting these limits in integral, then we get i4. i4 integral c y x square minus x y cube and dx plus y square minus 2y and dy. So here x is 0 and dx is 0. Now limit of y is 2, 2 to 0. So putting here integration co along integration, this is i4 last, this is co. So here putting dx 0, dx 0 this term is 0 and y equal to <coughs> by square minus 2y dy. So now two to zero two to zero here y square minus two y y square minus two y and dy. Now integral of this so here integration is y cube by 3 minus 2 by square by 2 and putting limit. So now here 0 and 0 minus sign and first of all putting 2 ka cube by 2 3 minus 2 ka cube 2 ka cube by 3 minus 2 2 is cancelled and 2 ka square. So this equal to minus 8 by 3 and minus 4. This equal to minus 8 by 8 minus 12 by 3. So this is minus here is minus 4 by 3. So this equal to 4 by 3. This is I4. Okay. So this is I4. Value of I4. I3 is, what is I3? Minus 40 by 3. So we get here integration C x square minus xy cube dx and
बाई स्क्वायर माइनस टू बाई एन डी बाई सो दिस इज लाइन इन टीगर दिस इक्वल टू आई वन प्लस आई टू प्लस आई थ्री प्लस आई फोर अलॉन्ग ओ ए लाइन प्लस ए बी लाइन प्लस बी सी लाइन एंड प्लस सी ओ लाइन दिस इज स्क्वायर सो वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन वी हैव कैलकुलेट वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन इज आई वन एट वाई थ्री आई टू आई टू इज माइनस फोर बाई थ्री एट बाई थ्री माइनस फोर बाई थ्री एट बाई थ्री माइनस फोर बाई थ्री एंड वट इज आई फोर आई फोर इज फोर बाई थ्री प्लस आई थ्री आई थ्री इज माइनस फोर्टी बाई थ्री माइनस फोर्टी बाई थ्री सो दिस टर्म इज कैंसिल टू दिस एट बाई थ्री माइनस फोर्टी बाई थ्री सो दिस इक्वल टू थ्री इज एलसीयम एंड एयर इज एट माइनस फोर्टी सो दिस इज माइनस थर्टी टू थर्टी टू बाई थ्री दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द इंटीग्रल दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड नाउ वी फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ राइट हैंड साइड आर एच एस वैल्यू ऑफ ग्रीन थ्यूरियम थ्यूरियम ऑफ आर एच एस राइट हैंड साइड सो डेट इज फॉर्मुला इज डबल इंटीग्रेशन इज एन आर एंड एयर इज डो एन ओवर डो एक्स एंड माइनस डो एम ओवर डो वाई एंड इन टू डी एक्स डी वाई क्लियर बट हेयर वॉट इज एम एम इज गिविन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई क्यूब एंड एन इज गिविन वॉट इज एन इज वाई स्क्वायर माइनस टू वाई सो फाइंड इज हेयर डो एम ओवर डो वाई This equal to differential with respect to y here. So that is zero minus x into three y square. Differential with respect to n, do n over do x. So x differential with respect to x is zero. There is no x function. These value putting here integral, double integration, double integration r r is region. डो एन ओवर डो एक्स इज जीरो माइनस डो एन ओवर डो वाई थ्री एक्स वाई स्क्वायर एंड डी एक्स एंड डी वाई दिस इज राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द ग्रीन थ्यूरियम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू सो डबल इंटीग्रेशन हेयर रीजन आर हेयर इज थ्री एक्स वाई स्क्वायर एंड डी एक्स एंड डी वाई बट नाउ लिमिट ऑफ वाई हेयर डबल इंटीग्रेशन आर एक्स वाई स्क्वायर थ्री एक्स वाई स्क्वायर डी एक्स एंड डी वाई सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ हेयर एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो टू एक्स इक्वल टू टू एंड हेयर वाई इक्वल टू जीरो टू वाई इक्वल टू टू दिस इज द लिमिट सो फाइंडिंग वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री इज कॉमन थ्री इज कॉमन एंड हेयर एक्स वाई स्क्वायर डी एक्स एंड डी वाई Integrating first y with respect to y. So here three x equal to zero to x equal to two and x dx x dx. Now integrating of y y square dy. Integrating y equal to zero to two. So now this result is three integration x equal to zero to x equal to two. x dx here is y cube by three now limit zero to two okay so this is eight by three this equal to three integration zero to two x dx and here two ka cube by three minus zero so now this equal to here three integration zero to two x dx And here is eight by three, so three three is cancelled. Now 
8 is common and here x square integration to 0 to 2 x dx. So integration 8 integration of this x square y 2. So 0 to 2. So 8 here 2 cross square y 2. So 2 2 is cancel. So here is 16. 16 is this result. Right hand side have 16 value and left hand side is i1 plus i2 is 16. Here is not 3. This cancel this. So this is also 16. i1 plus i2 plus i3. This total is 16. So LHS equal to RHS. So this is verify Green's theorem. Okay. Hence, verify Green's theorem. What is question is saying here? X square x y cube by square minus 2 y dy. So, here, where verify Green's theorem this, where C is the boundary of the square whose vertices are this, this. Okay. So, this type of first of all, we find uh, the value of left hand side integral that is line integral. What here is square is given according to vertices 0, 0, 2, 0, 2, 2 and 0, 2. These are four vertices. Four vertices, length and breadth are same. So, this is a square is given. This is a square. Matlab curve is, curve is square. So, we find out the integral of left hand side in four lines. Four lines means starting from O to A, next A to B and B to C and C to O. So after finding four integrals and we are adding I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. First of all, we find integral along OA. Along OA, Y always be zero. Y zero means dy zero. What integral along OA means along X axis. So, x axis along, vary the value in x. So, x from 0 to 2. Next is along AV. Along AV, AV is a line which is x equal to 2. x equal to 2 means dx equal to 0. But here is y vary. x is not vary. x is constant. y is varying along AV. So, y vary from 0 to 2. So, after finding second integral along AV, third integral along BC. Along BC, y is 2. y is 2. This is third integral. i1, i2, i3. Third integral. What is third integral? y is 2. So, here 2 ka cube. Here is 8x. So, x cube by 3 means 2 cube by 3 minus 8x. 8x, x square y2. So, 2 is cancelled. 8, 2 is 16. So here is minus 40 by 3, I4. This is total this. Now integral of this, do m over do a by this equal to y. Let's be differential with respect to y means 3 by square, 3xy square. And differentiation of n with respect to x means 0. So minus minus 3xy square, 3xy square dx dy. So here 3 is common x y square. So here x y square limit is 0 2 and 0 2 2. x is common y square y 2. y cube by 3 here. So this is 8 y 3. And x square y 2. This is 4 y 2. 3 is cancelled. So this is 16. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.